Hello human people, I'm Vienna and welcome to Drop in the Ocean. This time I'm taking a look at Convoy. Uh, because this is a, a roguelike, I thought I'd take a look at it first in a stream and I did just last week. And yeah, I'm just gonna play possibly one game of this to show how this works. So basically this is a roguelike where you have this little convoy. And I'm actually going to try... I unlocked one. One new convoy. And you can un... Just like in FTL you can... Uh, uh, you have to do specific things to unlock ships and in this cars, which are Kill an enemy without taking any damage to unlock this unit Ah yes, and also there's in addition to there being Your escorts you can also Unlock new main ones. And there seem to be many. Oh, I didn't know that's even possible. Win ten, win ten consecutive battles with only the MCV in your convoy. Okay, you can kind of see how that's possible, but oh, it would be hard. Right. Yeah. So you can see that there's defeat Andy. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna try this one. I didn't try it while I was playing. I'll play on easy because uh, I'm just showing this off. So basically, as the text will tell. Uh, your, well, the spaceship that you were on fell, got damaged and fell down to this planet and now you have to find certain parts, which are, well, basically they are just names and, yeah, I don't think all of those are, they aren't the same in each run. And it's sort of like FTL, like it's easy to compare it to FTL at the very least. Mm, and more or less you just choose one here. Yeah, that's the closest one. Self-seeming stem bolts. I think that's a reference to... An episode of Star Trek DS9, actually. Mm. Yeah. And just like in FTL, you run into these kinds of uh, encounters and you have to solve them in some way. And yeah. You can run, which takes resources. You can radio them, which might lead to a battle, but might lead to something else as well. Or you can just fight. I'm gonna radio them. Yeah, and that just gives me an option to... ...pay or fight. But I'm just gonna fight. Right, so battle, you have more freedom of movement than in... Yeah, and I quickly realized while playing that the best tactic is to just... Um, put yourself between 
the main car and the enemy. Ah yes, and that means there's gonna be something deadly coming up. Something that just kills you. And I mean it just immediately kills you, even if... Yep. Yeah, and as you can see there's this radius that you can shoot within. Also, explosions hurt, so try not to be next to enemies when they die. Yeah. And yes, you can also, I kinda showed it in that, but you can ram the enemies and you can ram them, if you time it right, into these obstacles that are insta-kills. And with careful movements you can also force them to go into those. And... Yeah, and your main car has a... At the moment at least it just has that, which is just a stun basically. And that there's these random event there's random events and these that you can see on the map. Um Right. Yep, let's just help them. Right then, and I hope we can find a shop as well. Hmm. Ah yes, I was wondering why that guy went ahead. But they got their mine layer. Yep. Okay, slight bug there, they're on the same space. Clearly shouldn't be. Oh god, my cars are already dead. Oh uh, yeah, and there you saw how it... My car took also damage in that... Oh crap. Oh, I'm doing really badly in this. Okay. Nope. Shit. Okay, and... Yeah, that car is just gone now. And now I have to far lesser car to go with. Can I go back so I can possibly see if it puts down mine? Oh shit. I might have just lost both my cars. Oh great. I do them. Awesome. Yeah, I lost both my cars. I have no idea what that is. Never seen that before. Might have been a bug. Yeah, and we saw another bug there. Ah, there's the main mission. Mm -hmm. Great. But yeah, uh, now it's basically impossible for me to do anything because I don't have the escorts. And... Yeah. I'm just gonna go here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Minefields and all other kind of things. Okay. 
yeah, just a little business meeting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, sometimes it gives you another option to get whatever you need, especially in these main missions. Uh, or you can just try and kill them. We can't, of course, do that because we don't have any firepower left. Because the... Uh, your main truck ga can't move around on the uh, on the playing field. It can just use its abilities. I'm not sure if you can put guns on it. I've never tried that and I think it's not possible. Not normal guns. It needs special kind of things. Hmm. Right, we have to... Okay, good, yeah. Um, what I'm gonna do is just save an exit and do a new game because there's not much to do in that game. But I'm going to go with this again. Yeah, you can't really do anything if you can move. Um, one of the things that bothers me in this game can easily be seen in this corner with the... Um, your different resources. Uh, when you look at, the, for example, the text in the fuel and scrap and cargo, you can easily see that it's made to be pixely, but then uh, right next to it is the camp button. And the pixels are far bigger and like they haven't tried to smooth out the letters like they would in real pixel graphics. And then pixels over here on these wirings are even smaller than on those. And it just bothers me because it's not, which, um, I, I don't want to say real pixel graphics, like it is pixel based, but there's just like several different sizes of pixels and I just don't like how it looks. It just, um, don't like it. Yeah, uh, all right, I forgot to pick one of these. Okay, hyperdrive stabilizer, and you can see that they have, they are different again. Points of interest. Uh, point nearest camp is kind of in the same way, so. Yeah, and sometimes there's just those flavor bits. And there are different, there are three different factions in this. Raiders, the Torvag and Privateers. Privateers are basically pirates. Raiders are basically guys who attack you. And Torvag are apparently the technology guys. You can, there's a lot of times when you can get the parts that you're looking for from them. Uh, the problem just is that there's nothing really different about these guys. They all fight you and they don't really have personality, like, except in the flavor bits, but like in battle, they're all the same and usually they just... Battle is what you do with them. And this is the camp. And here you can basically buy items and repair. And repairing like comparing it to say FTL again is I'd say a lot more forgiving because you can just it's all always fire scrap and 
Oh, I haven't seen that before. I haven't seen that you could have bought a car before. Only parts to it. Can I just buy this? Yep. And also you can buy gas, which I think is always, again, the same price. So it's... It's easier to plan ahead, in a way. Uh, good riddance. Um. But hmm. Something I noticed when playing this was that each time, each playthrough, I got the same amount of points. And even though I got a single part uh, to back, I didn't get anything for it. And that is actually kind of similar what's in FTL, because in FTL, a lot of the ships that you can unlock which are the main things you unlock in that game, uh, you only unlock them if you finish a playthrough. You don't unlock them e just if you do the thing that you had to do, but you actually have to finish your playthrough and defeat the boss. Mm. As I recall, at least, um, or at least you had to reach a certain point. And in this it seems to be rather similar. You have to get all the parts back and... Or do some... Mm, great big feat. The Sasiak milk bar? Oh my. Hmm. But personally, I'm not sure if I like that kind of roguelikes. Because, for example, in one of my favorite roguelikes, Enter the Gungeon, you, you always feel like you're getting, uh, getting ahead. You're getting, uh, you're unlocking stuff all the time and you can feel like you're progressing. In these these kinds of models I feel like I'm just mulling mulling around and I'm not really getting anywhere. Uh, also what was that game? Uh, Rogue Legacy. Rogue Legacy also awesome game. I should stream that. Mm -hmm. uh, you also, you, because you get money each time, you always feel like you at least have a chance of progressing. In this it might be that you, a single, uh, a single playthrough doesn't get you anywhere and, well, if you don't get anything or several consecutive ones might not get you anywhere because uh, we might see it during this playthrough I played on normal during the stream but a big problem that I also have had in uh, FTL was that a lot of times I would either suddenly get a really strong enemy and they would just wreck me and after that I couldn't recover or several consecutive enemies that were just too hard and I was just wrecked and it wasn't even about my skill, it was just that their numbers are bigger than my numbers. Uh, Let's head over to the Trump. They have good music sense. Taste.
Yep, just a milk bar, thank, thank you. Oh, Andy! Mmm, we've heard about Andy, haven't we? Well, this playthrough might get interesting. But yeah, uh, in addition to guns, the towns might also have different kind of parts. Let's talk to the men first. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. The old ultra violence. Hmm. Do I send a um, pop culture reference? Hmm. I've actually never had a uh, three car so. Maybe this fight will be easy. Hmm? Yeah, let's bring it on. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, that's a sign I haven't seen before. Okay, yeah, uh, they're barely taking any damage from our weapons and they're ignoring my cars. And I can't really push them out of the way either. That number there tells you if you can knock someone aside with a... Oh, that's not good at all. Okay then. Oh crap. Ah! Yeah, I'm not doing so good in this fight. Fuck, 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 fuck. 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 Okay, I'm dead, more or less. Except if a deadly part comes up and we can... ...stun them. Yeah, this wasn't a good idea. Now I understand why... You damn. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. And there we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can do somewhere with that MCV. <sighs> Perfect. Ah, uh, that was lucky. Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay, and you can also see that we slow down in certain kind of terrain. But I think we are just gonna take this and possibly die, but we should have a new kind of... Uh, just drive along, I wanna get to the ship quickly as possible. Although it kinda doesn't matter since we honestly can't do much. Oh yes. And we can camp here? I've never actually camped here. Shop. Ah yes, because this is the first 
place you get to, you can't really do much. Mm. Yeah, I had thought that we could um, just repair a bit, go to a town and maybe get a new car. Let's just investigate it, whatever. Oh, a shield. Awesome. Ah, uh, actually that means you can only put, if you find items, you can only put them on, on, uh, okay, yeah, you can put a shield on that, so. Ah, <sighs> oh well, I suppose that makes sense since it's the thing you're supposed to protect with everything else. Um, ah, right, yeah. No. Investigate. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. He just offers to repair your things. Uh, we met him during the stream as well. Hmm. Hmm. Ah yes, and side objectives. Ah, yeah, when you... I didn't even notice we were running out of fuel. Yeah, then you just have to survive as long as you can. Which won't be too long. Oh, and I forgot, you can also pause the game to position your guys better, but... Mm, I always forget to do that and I just do it on the fly. Right. Oh. Yeah, as I said before, I always, I think I said it before, but I always got the same amount of score. And it was really weird, but no, now we have one. One more than I got, got uh, before. Probably because we completed that one quest. Um, I'm just gonna check. Oh my. Oh dear me. AP, I don't get the AP, <laughs> mm, armor point. Yeah, the Amolus in every way better than... Well, they have a little less health, and compared to the first ones, yeah, a little bit less health, but the evade is so big that it doesn't really matter. Also, the range is so high. And they have two weapons instead of one, so they just kill enemies faster. Mm. But I won't start another game. Um, okay, in the main screen you can see really well um, the problem with the graphics that I talked about earlier. There's all these different sizes, different objects are done with different sizes of uh, pixels and it just clashes so much and especially this stuff in the foreground kind of reminds me of uh, some really low quality PC games from the 90s or something uh, like early 90s but it's not actually a bad game it's uh, it's just kind of the like of 
Um, roguelike that I don't personally like because, as I said, you don't. Sometimes you feel like you aren't progressing at all. I mean, we did progress just now, but I don't know. It's just I prefer when you can. You get money or something like that, like in Rogue Legacy. And although you lose it all, you can before that you can use it for some things and unlock new things. And uh, progression is more gradual. And in this it's just more big jumps, but not as often. But yeah, it's... Not a bad game, the graphics are a bit iffy, but all in all, uh, it's yeah, it's an, it's not a bad game, it just happens to be the kind of roguelike that I don't really like. But if you happen to like it, just pick it up, it shouldn't be too expensive. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say for you, say about it now. So, um, like, comment and subscribe, press all them buttons down there, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!